What's up guys, AJ here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to choose the right real estate brokerage. The first thing I want you to think about is what are you looking to get out of the brokerage? I find that a lot of agents, they just really go with the first one that they kind of bump into. Maybe it's someone that came into your pre-licensing class. Maybe you actually went out and interviewed a few brokers and you heard what they had to say. However, if you don't know what you're actually looking to get out of a brokerage, how do you know which one to go with? It's funny, when I actually got my real estate license, I was thinking like I had to impress the broker because it was kind of like a job interview. So a lot of new agents, they don't even know that any broker will take you for the most part. You know, when, when you're out meeting with different brokers, it's really them trying to sell you on why you should join their company, not you selling them why they should let you join their company. There are, a lot of companies are actually just desperate and they just want to add agents. I'm going to give you the top things to ask when meeting with brokers and, and when considering a move to maybe a different brokerage. But first, I just want you to philosophically think about, it's not necessarily like how much are they charging you to be at their brokerage, how much do you have to pay them, but it's about the value that you're getting because if someone can help you say, make $100,000 a year, but in order to do that, you had to pay them $20,000 versus someone could only help you make $50,000 a year and it was free to be there, at which company are you gonna make more money? Well, obviously the company that can help you earn $100,000 a year, even though you're paying them 20, cause you're left with 80, whereas the other company will help you make 50, even if it was free to be there, you're still plus $30,000 at the other company. So how could a brokerage help you make more money than say another brokerage? Well, the first thing is really training and support. Training and support is huge, especially when you're new or even if you're maybe just stuck in your career and you wanna make a switch and, and you don't really know where to go next, training and support's huge. You know, the, top, the biggest producers, they're always learning minded, so training and support. So that's gonna be number one. What type of training and support does your company provide? Number two, what type of lead generation and technology does your company provide? This is huge. If you don't have a platform that you can use to generate leads, you're dead in the water. If you don't have technology to help you run your business, you're gonna be dead in the water. And of course, you can join a company and use outside CRM systems, outside lead generation platforms. And I actually recommend a lot of different systems. There's a lot of great ones out there, but right off the bat, if you can get plugged in with a company that has a great solution for technology and for a lead generation platform, then that might be a great company to partner with, right? And number three, what are the commission splits? Now, commission splits are a big part of it, right? Is it a 70-30? Is it an 80-20? Is it a 50-50? These are really important questions you need to ask because this is a business decision. And if it's a 50-50 split, is the training and support that you're really getting worth it? Or could you be spending maybe $500 or $1,000 a month on a real estate coach? So you gotta look at what the trade-off is. Don't go 50-50 and, and just for some coaching when you could hire that coaching cheaper and probably get a better coach outside of that local brokerage because the reality is at these local brokerages, you're not getting the top training. You're just maybe getting someone that was hired by that office to teach you who may or may not even ever sold real estate at a high level. So you might not be getting the best training and support even for that commission split. Me personally, my entire career in the first five years, I always was seeking out the best coaches outside of my brokerage. Uh, a lot of you know I was at Keller Williams, great company, but I always had outside coaches because the best coaching I could find was outside of the company. So I was willing to pay my own money for that coaching and training. And a big thing that these brokers aren't telling you is, yeah, it's a 70-30 split, but what are the franchise fees? If you're talking to a franchise, like the, one of the big franchises, a Remax, Century 21, Keller Williams, there is a franchise fee involved. And even though it's a 70-30 split, there might be a 6% franchise fee. So that's really a 64-36 split. So that's something that you gotta be thinking about and taking into consideration. You know, if I'm talking to somebody and they're telling me it's a 70-30 split, and hey, by the way, there's a 6% franchise fee, well, be straight up, it's a 64-36 split, right? So make sure that you're asking, well, what other costs are associated? Is it truly this split or are there franchise fees included as well? Number four, you also need to ask what other fees are associated with being a part of this brokerage. We got the commission split out of the way, but a lot of companies, they'll sell you on a high commission split, but really get you with the back end fees. So sometimes there's very high transaction fees. Sometimes there's very high office fees, desk fees. Sometimes there's uh, expensive E&O insurance. Sometimes there's transaction fees, or they call them processing fees on top of the transaction fees. So if it sounds confusing, it's because a lot of times it is confusing because in my opinion, sometimes these brokers want to confuse you by offering something that sounds really good, 
but then having a lot of hidden fees, you may have experienced that with uh, other things like credit cards. It's just so important that you understand what the different fees are and the things to ask for, and that's why I thought it was important to make this video for you. And the last thing is, how available is the broker? If you have questions about the contract, how to write an offer to purchase, if you have this just weird situation that comes up and you need the help of a, a broker, are they available? Do you have a, a support person? Do you have a mentor if you're a new agent? These things are absolutely crucial. And a lot of times they might tell you that, of course the support's there, we're gonna help you, we're gonna help you, but what if you could actually test that? If you had a question, call them back the next day and see how fast they get back to you or if you're not meeting with a broker later that afternoon, call the broker and just ask him a question. Like, just think of a random question like, you know, how much CE do I need to do every year and, and leave that on their voicemail or do they pick up the phone? Are they there for you? You just don't wanna get in a situation where they over promise something and under deliver. And just as a bonus, and this one was big, do you have mentors and partners that are tied into your support that are being compensated to help you? This is huge. I used to teach classes all the time at my local office, but I wasn't getting paid. And at some point it comes when, you know, you join an office and there's people to help and support you, like the top agents. And if the top agents aren't too busy to help you and they do spend some time with you, there's a point where, you know, they have a great heart and they want to help you, but the time they're spending helping you is actually stealing away from their family because they could be prospecting for new business, they could be, be meeting clients, and quite honestly, they should be doing all of that. What I found is the best companies to partner with are when you have mentors who only succeed when you do, when you have partners who only succeed when you do. And it's not like hiring a coach where you're paying, say, $1,000 a month for one-on-one -on -one coaching and they get paid no matter what, even if you don't succeed, you're still locked into a long-term contract, but being partnered with a company where the company only gets paid when you close a transaction. Your mentor only gets paid when you close a transaction. That's a win-win deal. How invested is the support at that brokerage gonna be into your success when they're actually getting paid to help you? And I truly believe that all companies have great people and they wanna help you. It's just time's finite. You can only do so much. And when it comes between making money for your family versus helping somebody for free, it's always gonna come down to making money for your family. That's why the top agents who I'm sure you'd love to be learning from are just so busy and they really can't help mentor agents unless they're being paid for it. So I just think it's so cool when a company has the foresight to, to really partner with their agents and say, hey, you know, when you're helping an agent, we're gonna give you part of the commission. That's just so cool. So look for companies that might be doing that too. If you're interested, I'll have a link below to the company that I recommend and, and you can check that out. If you decide to partner with us, I can definitely help you with that. And I would love to, it'd be my honor. So as always guys, I appreciate you watching. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button of course, because you know, YouTube likes that. And I'd love for more people to see these videos because my goal is to give back to agents and that's my passion. So until next time, crush it.